and the most deranged and sick thing is the woman that runs the whole thing. I can't even remember her name. Has the worst hair in the world. What the frick is happening on with it? Is happening with her hair. It literally looks like a rat's tail weaved with some arse fluff and then stuck together with frickin' earwax. <laughs> What's up guys? Today I'm going to be talking about something pretty personal. It's a kind of like a Catholic thing. Um, and a lot of news has been going around this lately. It's the West Bar... Bra Baptist Church. Um, they are pretty much the biggest homophobes that you will ever see. And they are very disrespectful to soldiers' graves, to funerals, pretty much. So, if you don't know who they are, a lot of people will say that they're the most hated family in America. Even though I don't, I don't live in America, but I hate them. They say that fags will go to hell and they hold up signs saying God hates fags and stuff like that. And it's just crazy. And, you know, but anyway, let's get on to my points. They always say that fags go to hell and fag enablers go to hell, which is pretty much gay people and gay supporters. Um, and I'll tell you what I think about that. I used to go to a Catholic school, and what they definitely taught me is that God does not send people to hell. He would never give his biggest enemy, Satan, that liberty. He lets them stay at purgatory unless, until they've made up for their sins. And God has unconditional love for people, so they, he would let gay people in anyway. Because why... Why should they have to stay in purgatory? Why should they have to go into hell if they can't even choose their fate? I just spat everywhere. I mean, seriously. And that's enough for the fag enablers. And, no, that's not enough. Fag enablers is the most disrespectful thing. Fag enablers. Not fags. And we're not fag enablers. It's, it's just stupid. Everybody has their rights. They have the right to their own say. Everybody has their own opinion. They have their own opinion. And I don't judge them for having their own opinion. They can have any opinion they want. But to do it in such a public and disrespectful way is disgusting and deranged. These people go out. No, these people rotten the minds of young, of young children. The Westboro ba Baptist Church has about 70 people in their church. And that's pretty much just their whole family, right? And the younger kids from as little as five years old. They're putting them up with signs that they don't even know what's written on them. They don't know what fags are. They don't know what God is but they're brainwashing the minds of young children, making them hold signs that say, God hates fags, and it's just stupid. They're brainwashing them. And it's just, any of them can change, but most of the people have been told that since they were about five years old, so it's stupid, and... Now to the soldiers part, and this is just the stupidest thing that I've ever heard. These soldiers died, right? These soldiers were sons. These soldiers were fathers. These soldiers were brothers. These soldiers were husbands. But when they die, protecting the country for you. So that you can live. So that you don't have to fight. You mock their deaths. Bringing signs. Bringing children with signs. Thank God for the deaths of the soldiers. Thank God for 9-11. 
the school shootings should have been 33,000, not 33 people. It's stupid. And if enough awareness hasn't been raised, you need to know how deranged and sick these people are. And the most deranged and sick thing is the woman that runs the whole thing. I can't even remember her name. Has the worst hair in the world. What the frick is happening on with it? Is happening with her hair. It literally looks like a rat's tail weaved with some arse fluff and then stuck together with frickin' earwax. <laughs> Alright, no. But seriously, these soldiers, like, they're children. And I watched a Jeremy Kyle video. This mother of a soldier went up, went up against the Baptist church. And like he said, what would you do if your child died? Would you go up to their funeral and say, God, thank God for the death of my child? It's horrific. And I just wanted to start something going. Even if you don't raise that much awareness, I dare, I prompt everybody that's watching this video to make their own video about this horrendousness. It's just abs... Uh, sorry that my camera just shut out there. So that's pretty much been my video about the Westboro Baptist Church. Um, personally, I hate Westboro, ba Westboro Baptist Church. But God told everybody to love thy neighbour as I have loved you. Well, Jesus said that. Um, so I guess they can change and everybody can change and that people shouldn't be told they're going to hell for something that they're born with. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.